Hey everybody. Um, I have tried to record this video three times and I keep getting phone calls. So anyway, hi. I am so sorry. It is Tuesday. I'm supposed to be doing these updates on Mondays and I just didn't. And there's reasons, but we won't go there. <laughs> so, um, so far so good. I have to say though, I am not a strict schedule person. Um, when it comes to prioritizing the word of God, I actually am in the word of God all day throughout the day, here and there. I'm listening to sermons. I'm the vast majority of the time I'm actually listening to the word of God. And then I'll stop it and I'll look up a word and, you know, and I'm reading different things. And this is, and my, my job allows me that freedom to be able to do that, thank the Lord. So I'm actually in and out of the word all day, every day. But I really wanted to challenge myself to have a dedicated time of devotion, either in the morning. I was actually trying for the morning, but that wasn't working out so well. So it's actually been working out for me to have my time of devotion in the evening after I get home from work. Um, and so that's been going pretty good. Now, as far as my, um, uh, the diet is concerned, the healthy keto and intermittent fasting, that's actually been, been, been going pretty good. Um, I do plan to weigh each week, just because I'm doing it in this way and I'm doing these updates every Monday. I know that's not necessarily going to discourage me because I know I've actually done this plan before and was very successful at it. So I know it's going to work. So I have lost five pounds. Yay! Now I know they say that the, the initial five or 10 pounds is water weight. That's fine. It's weight it, that's off of me. So um, I'm very pleased with that. And uh, like I said, I did do this keto um, healthy keto and intermittent fasting plan um, before I actually did it before the pandemic of uh, the pandemic <laughs> and lost all the weight that I wanted to lose and felt amazing and then the pandemic happened and I do not and I cannot use the pandemic as an excuse now I will say this I am not a fan of the Food and Drug Administration the medical industries don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean I think all doctors are corrupt and that all medicine is bad. I'm not saying that at all. But I was kind of raised on holistic natural remedies type stuff. It doesn't mean I don't take medicine. People always want to go to the extreme. I do. But I would prefer and I usually look to and research natural remedies for all the different things that we go through as human beings. But one of the things that really put a bad taste in my mouth with regards to the medical industry and the doctors that practice medicine, practice, keyword practice, is uh, when my mother was diagnosed with terminal cancer and they were talking to her about all of her options and the things that she could do, you know, I mean, it was terminal, so there really wasn't anything she could do to, to reverse it according to what they were saying. But they were telling her things that, I, it did, just didn't make any sense made no sense at all and unfortunately there's a lot of cancer in my family both of my parents all of my grandparents for the most part and an uncle have all passed um, of cancer um, and one of the things that I don't know if they knew this when my mom was diagnosed they probably did I wouldn't put it past them that they knew this but sugar sugar actually feeds cancer so if you want to starve cancer stop eating sugar now there are two things specifically that cancer feeds on and i can't right now remember what the other thing is but i knew i do know that sugar is one of the things that cancer feeds on um, and because of the history of my family it's part of the reason why i'm so attracted to the healthy ketogenic and intermittent fasting plan with dr berg and uh, dr berg is a, a awesome resource for a lot of different things he he's a a researcher out of this world and so he's got an answer to a lot of different things and i've tried the things that i've been struggling with i've actually used his um, advice um, and direction to um, deal with some of the other issues that i've been struggling with and it's been very effective 
And so I'm pretty excited about um, continuing on this plan. And this is truly a lifestyle change for me. It doesn't mean I'll never, ever, ever, ever eat sugar. But I won't have the relationship with sugar that I had before. Because sugar is very addictive. And it's uh, pretty much like heroin. And you can do the research and find out how devastating it is. Just the fact that it feeds cancer alone should tell us a lot. I can't remember what year it was, but probably 30, 40, maybe even 50 years ago, um, the food industry started putting a whole lot of sugar in our food um, in the processing of it. They would say, you know, you need to take the fat out. And when they took the fat out, it tasted like cardboard. So to bring the taste back into this fake food that they feed us, <laughs> they had to put sugar in so that it could taste good. And now from 50 years ago to today, everybody is sicker. The uh, cancer, diabetes, congestive heart failure, all these illnesses and sicknesses, high blood pressure is through the roof. It has skyrocketed since then and it has been a direct result as far as i'm concerned as to what they're putting in our foods and the processing so with that being said i am not one that will I, although i do believe that these industries do have a responsibility in making us sicker but i also am a huge believer in personal responsibility i did the the um healthy keto and intermittent fasting plan um, prior to the pandemic and had great success and the pandemic is what threw me off but truly it wasn't the pandemic it was me having the self-discipline the commitment to follow through and do what I know is going to keep me healthy and keep me from being sick and one of the things I think about is I don't want to be a burden on my family if I'm not taking care of myself and I end up with all these diseases because I'm not taking care of myself my children, my husband, are they're going to have to take care of me. And we get older, things are going to happen. I get that. But whatever I can do to um, be healthier, I should do. Um, because to me, it's, it's more selfless. I think it's selfish to know better and not do better. And I have been selfish. I have struggled with gluttony, if I'm being honest. And that's a sin that we don't talk about very much. But it is something that's a huge problem, especially here in the United States of America. Everything revolves around food. Everything revolves around food. One of the things that used to always bother me, especially at church, is when we, whenever we would have um, an event and we'd be in the fellowship hall, we'd always have, we well, let me say this, we would very rarely have healthy options. And then almost always after the children come back from children's church, and uh, come back to be with the adults. They're often given cookies and candy and cake and, and all of that. So we just don't even think about how important it is for us to make healthy choices and to recognize that we're encouraging gluttony when we do things like that. So it's a huge oxymoron. We're in the church, we are the church, and we are encouraging gluttony and discouraging healthy habits. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense at all. So, anyway, I don't want to be on here long. I just wanted to get you, give you all the update. I've been doing pretty good um, with my nighttime devotion, um, though I am in and out of the Word of God throughout the entire day. And then I did lose five pounds on this plan. So, I promise, Lord say the same, and things don't come up, that I will do these updates on Mondays. Um, and what I'm going to try to do so that I can commit to some time frame is record it maybe on Saturday or Sunday and then schedule it to um, show on Monday. That way it will relieve me of the pressure of having to do it the same day because that's kind of what ended up happening this week. That wasn't what I wanted to do, but there was just so much going on that I just couldn't sit down and get it done. <clears throat> so that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about you all. I do would I would encourage you to do the research with regards to sugar and um, definitely go and check out um, Dr. Berg. He is on YouTube and he has thousands upon thousands of videos about a lot of different ailments that we deal with. And I'm sure he can be very helpful to you in a lot. Of, everything's not for everybody. But um, so far, the things that I have um, done that he's encouraged regarding the things that I'm personally dealing with has definitely helped a lot. So um, 
with that being said i pray that you all will have a wonderful week if you have a prayer request please do not hesitate to leave it in um, the comments i will pray for you um, but hopefully you're doing this with me where you're prioritizing the word of god i've been making sure that you're spending time with the lord a really sincere dedicated committed time with the lord every single day in prayer as well and then taking better care of ourselves not just for us not just to increase or improve rather our quality of life but to not um, place ourselves in a position to be a burden on our family unnecessarily as a direct result of us not taking care of ourselves so anyway i hope you all have a good week and i will see you next monday god bless